What's up guys, Jordan here with Objective C Toros, Lesson 9, Part 2, Structures with Defined Data Types. Now, what are defined data types? Well, um, I will really kind of explain that throughout this whole lesson, but how you use them in code, you use uh, type def. Now, you have to declare struct, budget, and then the budget or the struct variable, which in this case, struct um, some budget in main or whatever function every time you want a new struct variable. So if you have lots of struct variables, this can be kind of annoying. Well, type def lets you create a new type for a built-in type. So here are some examples, uh, type def, and then you put the type, so like int, and then the new name. So you would put like uh, new name for int, and then you could use new name for int, and it'd be the same as saying int. But that really doesn't save you any code. What saves you code is when you start using uh, type def, and then you can have the type, and then you can put a particular type. So you could put structure, or struct, and then the budget. So you can put a particular uh, struct, the budget, all in budget. So whenever you say budget, it's like saying struct the budget. So this is really what we'll be using type def for in this case, in uh, our case. So here you have the structure that we set up last lesson, struct, um, the budget, and then down below after the semicolon you put type def, struct, the budget, budget. So then all you have to do, budget, vacation budget, because when you said budget, it's like you said struct the budget. And that last piece that I told you about right there, that goes inside the main function. Now we'll head into Xcode and do a little switching around of the code. Okay, so here in Xcode, all you need to do is add the typedef declaration right after the semicolon of the structure. So typedef struct the budget we want to wrap all that info into a name budget and then you can just delete this part struct the budget and replace it with budget and then you can build and run save all and as you can see everything built properly so you know that uh, you did it correctly so now we're going to jump back into Keynote and I'm going to show you how you can declare a structure and type def at the same time. Okay, so here we are back in Keynote. And like I said, you can define a type def and a struct at the same time. And how you do this is you just put type def, struct, then in the braces you put all the members, and then before the semicolon you put a name. And this will be the name for the type def and for the struct. So then inside the main function all you have to do is put budget vacation budget and when you put budget remember of course it's like you put struct budget but you only had to put budget. So now we're going to go back into Xcode and make this tiny little change. Alright so now just delete the name of the struct and then in front of it put type def And then right here, put budget. So that will be the name for the type def and the name for the structure. And then we already have the declaration in main. And then delete this previous declaration. And we're all good to go. So now you can build and run, save all. And as you see, it works properly. Now, the last few lessons, I know we haven't actually got any different results. I'm just showing you how you can structure your code to make it easier to read and edit in the future. And in today's lesson, uh, save you a little bit less time typing. So anyways, check out some of my other program tutorials, any that you may have not seen, and check out some of my other videos, and please subscribe and keep watching. Thanks for watching.